Happy Feast Day. Today we celebrate the Feast Day of the Epiphany. Epiphany actually means manifestation in which Christ manifests himself to the kings and to the whole world. They follow the star and eventually the star would arrive at where Jesus was in the arms of Mary. And they offered three symbolic gifts. Those gifts were uh, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. <coughs> But gold is symbolic of the fact that Jesus is king. Frankincense, the fact that Jesus is God, his divinity. And finally, myrrh, the fact that Jesus as a man would be destined to die on the cross for us. This can this has a practical application for ourselves. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Gold in the sense that all of us are called at least to a limited degree, to offer up alms alms to the Lord, almsgiving, which means give generously generously of ourselves. As the St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta would often say, we have to learn how to give until it hurts. Frankincense is symbolic of, once we said said earlier, the divinity (coughs) of Christ, but also our call to offer our prayers to God. Offer our prayers to God. How about this year? Trying to pray a little bit more, a little bit better. The greatest of all prayers is the holy sacrifice of the Mass. And finally, we have myrrh. Myrrh is symbolic of the mortification, the ascetical life, the sacrifices, the penances that we should try to offer to God for the salvation of souls and in reparation for the sins of the world. So the, the, the kings brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I once saw a bumper sticker, and I actually made a bumper sticker for myself, related to the feast day that we celebrate today. And this is what the bumper sticker said. How original and unique was the person that made this uh, bumper sticker. And this is what it said. Wise men still find Jesus in the arms of Mary. Wise men still find Jesus in the arms of Mary. How true. So happy feast day. And I'd like to give you a Christmas blessing because we're still on the feast of Christmas for another another week. We'll enter into ordinary time, the baptism of our Lord in eight days. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.